One of the most powerful ways to influence people is by telling a story. And the science is there to prove it. When we hear a story that we can relate to, our brain releases dopamine, a neurotransmitter that helps us remember emotionally charged events. When we tell a story, the listeners as well as the storyteller all mirror similar brain activity. That means that when you tell a story to a customer, they will literally be on the same wavelength as you. There will be times when you want to showcase something new to your customer. It could be trying out a new feature, optimizing their existing use, or even expanding to other products. But most people don't want to be pioneers. They're fear focused and they want to make sure they're not the guinea pig. Knowing someone else has done this before them gives customers that social proof to take a chance and try something new. Instead of pitching this to a customer like, this is what I think you should do, telling a story about someone else who tried this solution in the past can be really powerful. When I think of some of the most legendary stories, Star Wars, Harry Potter, and Disney movies come to mind. The secret sauce in all of these stories is the hero's journey story arc. Though the traditional hero's journey has many steps, we can use a simplified framework to help us structure the stories we tell our customers. Imagine we're in the middle of a conversation and we want them to try our integrated communication product. Well, Josh, your situation reminds me of Maria. Like you, Maria was the director of e-commerce at a mid-market fashion retailer experiencing an explosion of online growth as a result of COVID lockdowns. Maria's internal communications were siloed and this led to production delays and further miscommunication across departments. To make matters worse, their designs were taking so long to get to market that by the time they got to consumers, they were no longer on trend, which was hurting their brand reputation. Once Maria consolidated internal communications into a single channel, she was able to streamline her workflows, improving transparency across the company and growing more smoothly on a global scale. On top of this, the integrations Maria implemented helped her get her design approvals faster, increasing her speed to market, which as you know in the fashion industry is everything. Josh, does Maria's situation resonate with you? Our story started with a focus on Maria, our hero, and her situation. This is the person just like the listener that they can relate to. Then we heard about Maria's trials and tribulations, even getting a bit dramatic about the worst case scenario of being so slow to get to market that your product has become obsolete. When Maria was fully entrenched in the depths of despair, there was a glimmer of hope and she decided to make a change. Of course, we then heard about the great impact Maria achieved, not just solving her communication problem, but also getting to market faster. Now, this is really important. The listener should be able to connect the dots that the help that Maria got was from using my product. But as soon as I say the name of the product, the focus is taken away from our hero, Maria, and I sound like I'm pitching. When you're telling the story about the hero, remember, you are the force. You are Dumbledore. You are the fairy godmother. You are the special helper behind the scenes that makes Maria solve her pain, achieve lots of impact, and look like a superstar. And because your listener can relate to our hero, Maria, they're thinking, I'm just like Maria. That's the pain I'm going through. I want to be a superstar too. You want the listener to ask you, how did Maria achieve all that impact? which is your golden opportunity to share your plan with them. Remember, when you're telling a customer's story, state the name of the hero and make it relatable to the hit listener. Talk about the hero's pain and don't be afraid to be dramatic. Keep the focus on the hero, not on your solution. Share the impact the hero achieved and try to use some before and after metrics if possible. And finally, end the story with a question like, did Maria's situation resonate with you? Think about your favorite customer, write down the outline for their hero's journey story, and then practice telling that story out loud. That way, you'll have a polished customer story in your back pocket to share whenever opportunity strikes.